So now let's look at the muscles on the lower part of the body. Uh, right here, uh, the abdominal muscles have been cut, and we see a deep muscle in the abdomen. That's the iliozoas. Uh, it originates on the lumbar vertebrae and ilium and inserts on the femur. So it pulls the femur upwards. That's called flexion of the femur or thigh. And this is a muscle that I like to think of as a switch hitter muscle. There are a number of these where instead of the femur moving up towards the torso, the alternatively, uh, that same muscle can pull the torso and bend it, flex it at the waist, and pull it down towards the femur. So it either causes flexion at the waist, it's a deep flexor muscle, uh, uh, acting to assist these more superficial abdominal muscles in flexing at the waist, or it flexes uh, the femur. <clears throat> there are two superficial muscles on the anterior side of the thigh, on the surface, there's the sartorius and there is the gracilis. And the, the sartorius muscle in the cat is uh, long and wide. And it, uh, uh, among other things, uh, abducts and flexes the uh, uh, femur, pulls on the femur, flexing it. Uh, here it's been transected, cut across. We can lift it up, and that exposes the uh, three of the four parts of the quadriceps femoris. The three parts of the quadriceps that are exposed are the rectus femoris, rectus meaning straight, the vastus lateralis, and the vastus medialis. Of course, the quadriceps uh, originates on the uh, ilium and uh, femur. It inserts on the tibial tuberosity, and it extends the uh, uh, lower leg. <clears throat> the um, uh, We then have uh, these medial muscles, the gracilis right here is that other superficial muscle. It, uh, th there's a number of muscles that are, are called collectively the medial adductor group. They all originate on the pubic symphysis along the midline, and they insert on the legs. The, gr the gracilis is one of these medial adductors. Uh, it happens to insert on the tibia. The others insert on the femur, but they all pull the legs towards the pubic symphysis, towards the midline. The gracilis has been transected or cut across. We lift it up, and that exposes other adductor muscles and other muscles. This large muscle, and this does look pretty good here, is the adductor magnus, the big adductor. And then uh, here, just above it, su superior to it, characteristically smaller and darker in color, at least on the cat, is the adductor longus. There is a smaller pectineus, but we won't worry about that. So uh, the gracilis, we lift it up, the adductor magnus and adductor longus, they all pull the femur, the, uh, the legs towards the midline. <clears throat> um, also, in the lower part of the leg, on the anterior side is the tibialis anterior, right on the front side of the lower leg, and that has two actions. It dorsiflexes the foot, and it inverts. It turns the sole of the foot medially, rotates it medially. That's called inversion. The uh, other muscles uh, of the leg are best seen from the back side, so 